Hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. Uh, I think today's Tuesday. I don't know, I get my days mixed up. Whenever, whenever day is a Saturday, every day is a Saturday. Um, but uh, today, I'm in the underground parking. I talk about the underground parking in our neighborhood a lot. And today, I wanted to kind of show what that looks like. Um, this is the first floor, first underground floor of parking. Uh, the ceiling's a little lower, but the use for this spot is for motorcycles, uh, electric mopeds, and pedal bikes. So as you can see around me, like this is an electric uh, bike. That's an electric moped, very, very standard style. This is a motorcycle, of course. So this is where I used to park my motorcycle. Um, uh, just to store it. So it's out of the elements, it's kind of sheltered, it's not heated, it's open to the outside. If you look just over here, there's a ramp that goes up to the sidewalk. So that's how you get in and out, is you just drive it down the ramp and you park it here. So you just kind of pick a spot, and then, you know, there's no assigned spots, there's just kind of a haphazard, you, you put it where you put it. Uh, just on the other side of this wall, there's this cool spot where you can drive your electric scooter up and plug it into the wall and then you scan the code and it turns the electricity on. So you pay a small fee for the electricity and then you can charge your your um, your vehicle down here. Now, the whole building is cement construction, so if one of them starts on fire, which happens occasionally, you know, we've got our fire suppression system over there where you can come put it out, but uh, there's, there's notes in all the elevators that you're not supposed to take these into your apartment. You might be tempted to because then you can plug it into your apartment and charge it, but there have been many incidents where the batteries have gone bad in the elevator, which is not the best scenario. If you're in a trapped closed box in an elevator shaft and one of the batteries decides to explode, uh, you're trapped and they can cause really bad burns and damage. So. So this is a really good spot that we can store all of the um, we can store all of them. and uh, that's the elevator making noise. Our elevators are down all the time. So anyway, uh, this is the underground parking, the first floor. Uh, maybe I can show the second and third floor some other time. They're very, uh, they're very nice. I think they just glaze the floor with some kind of epoxy, but uh, it, it's. It's an advantage. Most most developments, most of the newer developments, are designed with underground parking. So we don't have a lot of surface parking in China. They will utilize the space as best they can. So they just put all the parking underground. So even if you go to the mall or the grocery store, um, you drive up and there's an entrance and you go down. Uh, sometimes you have to pay for the parking. Most times, if it's like a shopping district. Um, you might not have to pay for the parking, and the parking fee is, is very nominal uh, anyway. So uh, today, I went outside to pick up this. This is our new water dispenser. The other day, um, she went to load, we had all the water delivered in 10 liter, 15 liter um, jugs. So you have to pick it up, you know, it's the water cooler. And as she was putting it on, a piece inside snapped, it broke. And so she had to order a new one. And how we buy things in China is you go on your phone, you shop around, and then you buy one, and then it gets shipped to your house. She bought it like uh, three, four days ago. And so uh, the delivery guy shows up in your neighborhood with this tiny truck. They're like this, but a delivery truck. And he calls everybody and says, your package is here. And then you go downstairs and get it. One of the advantages of having me not work and having her at work is she calls me from work and says, our package is here. Can you go get it? So I go downstairs. I tell him that my wife told me to pick up a package. She asked for the name. And then I give him the name and the last four digits of her phone number. And he gives me the package. OK, that's done. So we got this new water dispenser that I'm going to go put upstairs. And uh, I tried to. Uh, show you a new place. This one isn't as exciting. There aren't really people walking by. If you come down in the morning when it's time for everybody to go to work, then you'll see a lot more people coming and going. The, 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 there's nobody like watching this area, but it's very secure. Uh, crime and theft in China, it's there. Uh, our friend got their moped stolen in their neighborhood uh, a couple of times. 
but generally speaking, um, it's very safe to just uh, keep it down here. You can put an extra lock on it if you want. I don't see anything with an extra lock, so it's not very popular. But uh, it's a really cool place where you can store your electric motorcycle or your bike or your motorcycle that's away from the elements, and uh, it, it's just really secure. So uh, that's all I got for you today. I want to say I love you guys. I think you're awesome, and I'll see you in the next video.